I have been trying to replace Notability for years. There was a time I moved to Zoom Notes, but that was a short-lived transition, mostly because Zoom Notes is very complicated and required time to learn, which I simply didn't have at the time. In today's video, I'll be going through the reasons Noteful was able to completely replace Notability in my workflow. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. There are two main reasons Noteful stole my heart in an instant. First of all, the application is as stable as Notability. Not even GoodNotes is that stable. As a general rule, we don't focus on bugs when reviewing applications on this channel. That is because we hope developers will fix them. But because we try so many applications and because we're always reviewing applications, we always see a lot of bugs when we're either reviewing apps or creating videos. So an unstable application is not difficult to spot. That is why we appreciate just how stable Note 4 is. That is not to say the application is perfect. It just means that everything, good and bad, you experience in the application is predictable. That automatically means fewer distractions. The second reason Note 4 was a perfect replacement for Notability was its audio recording feature, which syncs to notes the best kind of audio recording in a note-taking application. I do miss the feature in Notability though, the animations and especially the ability to skip through the audio from your notes. However, I don't record as much these days anyway, so I don't really need that feature as often as I did before, which made my switching very easy. But we do hope that our developer adds the ability to skip through your audio. Each time I tried switching to good notes, I couldn't finish writing a page of notes without my hand hurting. In Noteful, I did not experience that. The fountain pen in the application feels like the brush pen in good notes, which is my favorite. There are several reasons Noteful outshines Notability, and those were just the perks I got for switching. This could be the reasons to choose the application over Notability if you haven't bought a note taking application yet. For new users, those of you that are looking to buy a note-taking application to start your digital transformation journey, Noteful is only $4.99. You pay it once and you have the application for life. Notability, on the other hand, now costs $14.99 a year if you're a new user. It'll be easy for you to decide which one you need if you try Notability for free first and Noteful for free as well. See which application works better for you. Notability improved its organization to allow up to five levels of folders within folders. Noteful's organization is still much cooler than Notability, especially for 2022. You can create universal tags to use as folders. Say what? Creating subfolders is very easy. Simply add a forward slash to create hierarchies. We have never enjoyed creating folders in a note-taking application until now. Another cool thing about tags is that a notebook can belong to multiple folders, which is awesome. You can also pin your notebooks in Noteful, a feature you don't have in Notability. It helps when you can pin documents you're currently working on to make them easier to access. The user interface in Notful is minimalist, particularly if you put your toolbar to the side. You can have the toolbar on any side of your screen. And you also have the option to remove your status bar for an even more minimalist look. Notful supports tabs. If that is something you like, then you'll love the application. The tab bar can either be at the bottom or at the top. And the application tends to look cluttered when you put the tool and tab bar on the same side. You can adjust the opacity of your shapes in Noteful. Finally, an application with that feature. You can also have a translucent shade for your autofill. And your borders can be different styles. 
Unfortunately, at the moment, your shape, border, and fill color have to be similar. You can also adjust the opacity of your images in Note 4. Add a frame with different colors and thicknesses. The application also has a better lasso tool, which is selective. You can decide to pick up just the handwriting, highlights, text boxes, images and shapes only, or any combination you like. Notability's non-selective lasso tool is tiring. Noteful has a very cool feature that copies page templates in your notebook. For our minimalist digital notebooks, it copies them exactly as they are with the active hyperlinks. You can't tell apart pages that you added while in the application. If you're interested in purchasing one of our digital notebooks, we have a link to our online store in the description down below. You can also add different page templates to one notebook. And you're not limited to your application's templates because you can import page templates or even documents. That way, your new document goes exactly where you want it. In Notability, all your imported documents go to the bottom of the document. Then you have to move them to where you need them. With multiple page selection, it's no longer as terrible, but still, Noteful does it in fewer steps. After what feels like a millennium, Notability finally brought page rotation to the application. But alas, it did not rotate your ink. With digital note taking, page rotation is an absolutely necessary feature to have. Notability, a subscription app, still doesn't have it in 2022. That, ladies and gentlemen, is unacceptable. In Noteful, you can zoom in and out of these thumbnails. It's a cool feature that we just thought to mention while we're still looking at these thumbnails. Remember the cool tags we mentioned earlier? Well, they don't just work on documents or for creating folders. They also work on pages. Yeah, you can tag pages for easier access on the home page. How impressive is that? Universal tags are certainly the best way to organize digital notes. In Noteful, you can add layers for your document. For each page, you can see what the layer contains. Layers are a smart way to annotate on documents without permanently saving your annotations to them. You can then be able to share original documents without annotations, a feature that Notability does not have. Noteful can recognize outlines in your document. The fun part is that it can add to your outlines as well. Another cool feature, which most people have been requesting from GoodNotes, nested outlines. You can nest your outlines as much as you want in Noteful. Of course, Notability does a few things better. Noteful does not do the following. It does not convert your handwriting to text. I don't convert sections of handwriting to text. I tend to convert complete documents. That is why for my handwriting conversion needs, I always use Nibble instead. You can't pick accurate colors for your writing tools. Let's hope we get a hex code or color picker option in the application soon. You can only back up to Google Drive at the moment. We hope to be able to back up to different cloud services in the future. You can't scan documents directly into the application. Again, this is something we recommend doing outside the application to keep your notebook small with a proper scanning application, for example. You also can't create small files like Notability does. Which of these features do you like the most? Let us know if Notful is an application you'd like to try out. Notful has been my go-to app since November 2021, and I've not looked back. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.